द क्रिटिकल पेट्रियट देखने वाले सब दोस्तों को खुश आमदीद आज एक दफा फिर मेरे साथ अजमान से शरीक गुफ्तु हैं अशफाक अकबर साहब अशफाक साहब एक कामयाब बिजनेस मैन है और आजकल जर्नलिज्म स्टडी कर रहे हैं सोशली कॉन्शियस सिटीजन हैं और इनका ताल्लुक केरला से है अशफाक साहब मैं इस वक्त शारजा में हूं और आप अजमान में हैं नॉट वेरी फार फ्रॉम ईच अदर वी आर लाइक 15 टू 20 मिनट्स अवे फ्रॉम ईच अदर राइट अच्छा अभी इलेक्शंस की अनाउंसमेंट हो गई है इंडिया में हां जी तो क्या तवक्को कर रहे हैं आप क्या क्या रिजल्ट आएगा और क्या मोदी जी की अचीवमेंट्स हैं जिनकी बेसिस पे वो इलेक्शन लड़ेंगे और क्या पाकिस्तान का जिक्र भी आएगा इस कैंपेन में क्योंकि पाकिस्तान में ये कहा जाता है कि इंडिया के इलेक्शंस जो हैं वो एंटी मुस्लिम और एंटी पाकिस्तान नैरेटिव पे लड़े जाते हैं सो वट इज योर टेक ऑन दिस इन पार वो उसमें तो कोई दोहराई नहीं है बिकॉज पिछले दस साल के अंदर इंडिया का अपोजिशन जनरली डेसीमेट हो गया है मोदी का मेन uh, मुद्दे ये होंगे कि जो इलेक्शन मैनिफेस्टो में उन्होंने प्रॉमिस किया था दैट विल ऑलवेज कम इन टू डिस्कशन बिकॉज इज फुलफिल्ड मोस्ट ऑफ हिस प्रोमिस पाकिस्तान का जिक्र yeah when we discuss article 370 which is actually removed which is one of the promises that the bjp gave right from its inception i mean 1980 se unka uh, unka ek agenda hai article 370 ko remove karna so that will become a part of uh, his discussion uh, uniform civil code ka discussion hoga jo i mean it is not basically uh, implemented yet but uh, that is also on cards कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट है जिसके जरिए पाकिस्तान अफगानिस्तान और बांग्लादेश के माइनॉरिटीज को एक अपॉर्चुनिटी मिल रहा है यानी कि देर नंबर ऑफ इयर्स दे रिक्वायर द रिक्वेजेंट इयर्स फॉर अप्लाइंग फॉर सिटीजनशिप हैज बीन रिड्यूस तो ये तीन मुद्दे होंगे ये डिस्कस होंगे एंड या आई थिंक दो सम थ्री मेन इश्यूज वर यू वुड सी पाकिस्तान एक्चुअली आई डोंट थिंक पाकिस्तान वुड कम इन आई मीन डायरेक्ट अंडर डायरेक्ट अटैक बिकॉज मुद्दे तो बहुत सारे हैं डिस्कस करने के लिए पाकिस्तान वोट बी द मेन इश्यू बट दी मैटर ऑफ पाकिस्तान वुड ऑब्वियसली कम देर आर टू थिंग्स दैट वी हैव टू नोटिस दैट इन द पास्ट टेन इयर्स वी हैव इन हैड अ लॉट ऑफ क्रॉस बॉर्डर एंगेजमेंट विज अज टेररिज्म और अटैक्स एनी वेयर इन इंडिया द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड हिज पार्टी ऑलवेज शोज दैट इज एन अचीवमेंट तो वहाँ पे डिस्कशन हो सकता है Uh, and the next discussion would be uh, pertaining to the article 370 in kashmir otherwise no pakistan won't be a great part of our discussion i mean wo zamana chala gaya hai i mean it it would it was it would have been when if the bjp is in is in opposition obviously they would bring in points but when they are in power and uh, the it won't uh, happen and mostly because the engagement with pakistan has also reduced after 2008 there has been almost no engagement and uh, after 2014 it is i mean on every level there is no engagement so that uh, so the discussion the focus won't be pakistan i mean uh, that is a misunderstanding wo ek galat fahmi hai and um, anti muslim is something is a perception uh, which pakistan has because it's a muslim majority uh, country i have always said that indian muslims are far in a far better position than pakistani muslims because they can dream they can aspire and they can Uh, they can live a good life within the confines of their nation and that is of primary importance as far as i uh, i am concerned uh, religion is best kept at home and india and india it is important for every community to keep their religion at home and uh, not bring it out so that is how we look at our politics that is how politics is going to be for a long time uh, in uh, in india uh, so that is one good thing acha kashmir uh, कश्मीर आपके ख्याल में होगा एक इशू जिस पे बात होगी इलेक्शन कैंपेन में और कश्मीर में सिचुएशन है क्या आ, ये सुनने में आ रहा था कि बहुत सी इन्वेस्टमेंट आ रही है एंड सम ऑफ इट इज आल्सो कमिंग फ्रॉम द यूएई हां यूएई हैज बीन सी एवर सिंस वी हैव हैड शेख मोहम्मद बिन जैद अल नहियान हु बिकम द प्रेसिडेंट ही हैज टेकन इट टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल अर्लियर आल्सो वी हैड गुड रिलेशंस बट वी हैव टेकन इट टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल इंडिया वांट्स टू एंगेज विद यूएई एंड ब्रिंग यूएई इनटू कश्मीर सो दैट 
you know uh, the propaganda at the international level will be also quelled so uh, mr which is uh, you know actually owned by mr ali alabar is basically making its own investments you have lulu group also uh, lulu group has been asked by the prime minister for procurement of mostly um, maybe uh, walnuts uh, apples and other products that the kashmiri farmers produce so the lulu takes it uh, to the international market so there is that kind of, that is the, there is that level of uh, engagement there uh we were expecting uh, around 25000 crore rupees to come into kashmir uh, till now what has materialized is i think around 8000 crores it has been slower because uh, you see uh, first of all uh, much before the business environment to continue we had to you know uh, because uh, once it became a union territory and once the uh, act was removed uh, the engagement at the army level had to be brought down and the engagement with civilians had to come down, uh, come up. So uh, currently, if you notice, in the past three years after 2009, we have not had a single civilian death in, uh, in Kashmir. Uh, three years prior to that, we have had at least 129 people who were killed, uh, civilians caught in the crossfire. Not telling that people have not died. I mean, you see, still there are the, the there are splinter groups and uh, the engagement with the army continues. So uh, the, there are uh, terrorists or uh, who have who have lost their lives. There are soldiers who have lost their life. Uh, but civilians, you know, uh, they have not caught. Uh, they have not been caught in the crossfire. And the other thing is that a lot of activists. 2019 may may one name lena chahta 2019 may jab JNU Umar Khalid episode वगैरह हुआ था तब कश्मीर से एक student leader उठ के आई थी उनका नाम है शहला शोरा शहला शोरा समेत बहुत सारे youth activists आज आजकल BJP के side में हैं you know they have completely changed their narrative and they have come onto the government uh, side and uh, then recently you also have a journalist who represented India uh, on the international forum in London her name is Yana Mir so you know the kashmiri youth have come to realize that you know and they can also see what's happening on the other side of uh, the river uh, they are in azad kashmir uh, how the prices are up uh, prices kaise bade hue hai, inflation or fir, uh, living conditions wagera. it's a lot of uh, there's a lot of difference so i have always been a firm believer of this uh, fact that article 370 first of all discriminates kashmir is one among the many states of india the article 370 was facilitated so that you know the king at that time uh, feel at ease and then there's a lot of um, i mean uh, farooq abdullah also had this uh, not farooq abdullah his father uh, had a great role in that but now we have removed it i mean you cannot have uh, a separate constitution separate rules in one state of the country and expect other st states to have other rules so uh, it has been removed there were a lot of um, you know a lot of aspersions were cast but it has been quelled so it's a major achievement of the uh, central government of india and uh, this achievement will obviously be highlighted it is such a big achievement that the opposition cannot even oppose it i mean aap oppose karenge to aap you know desh ke khilaf ho jayenge uh, if you say that we we do not agree to this then they will ask uh, are you not for the integration of the country uh, do you want to give into the hands of the muslim extremists so uh, those the discussion is going to be one one sided and the government is going to win all the way in that particular issue wo hai acha ashfaq sahab aapne mm -hmm. baat ki yusuf lulu ki unke bare mein kaha jata hai ki he is the richest foreigner in the uae aur mm -hmm. unka taluq bhi aapki jo state hai kerala se hai aur uh -huh. unke bahut zyada idhar stores hain aur uh, mm -hmm. unke bete ki shaadi thi ya beti ki shaadi thi jis pe bahut se international celebrities aayi thi aur yahan ki jo hai uh, ruling family jo hai uae ki wo bhi wahan gaye the uski kuch tafseel bataiye ga wo, wo actually uh, yusuf ali is a richest person he is actually from my district in kerala mm -hmm. and uh, he came to uae as a small uh, grocery owner and from there he developed his uh, fortunes uh yes he is worth i guess seven billion uh dollars and he is the richest person in uae foreigner in uae obviously uh no i don't think his his uh his son's marriage no he has only three daughters he has got no uh -huh. sons and okay. uh, his brother's son's marriage happened recently where the celebrities all over came uh yusuf ali maintains a very good relationship with the politicians in india so uh, he has not basically distinguished between this political party and that so uh, he has invested a lot in India, but most of his investments, uh, ironically, is in Uttar Pradesh, not in Kerala. Uh -huh. 
Mm-hmm. Because Kerala is mostly a communist state, uh, so the government in Kerala, uh, you know, they have some issue with uh, with capitalism. So they do not really encourage a lot of production. They do not encourage a lot of uh, tertiary sector investments. Also, so Yusuf has only invested in retail in uh, in Kerala. So he has now uh, four malls, uh, out of which three are functional, and they are big malls. Uh, so that's how his he is invested in Kerala. But his production units. Uh, be it the beef unit, uh, the meat unit, uh, the um, the chicken unit, the fi- um, you have uh, the vegetable unit, and his procurement is all from Uttar Pradesh. He's also built uh, India's biggest mall in uh, in Uttar Pradesh, Lucknow. He has a he shares a very close bond with the uh, Chief Minister in Uttar Pradesh, uh, Yogi Yogi Adityanath. So he has taken most of his investments there. He invests out of that place. He's invested in Kashmir also. Yeah, he's, he's a big shot. और ये बताइएगा कि अभी जो है कश्मीर में उनको क्या प्रोजेक्ट दिया गया है कि वो अब जो है जो फ्रूट्स हैं उनको प्रिजर्व करके एक्सपोर्ट करेंगे वहां से नहीं नहीं उनका उनका उनके रिटेल शॉप्स हैं जो एप्पल्स हैं वॉलनट्स हैं जो जो भी वहां से सैफरन है ये सब वो दे विल ब्रिंग इट टू यूपी देयर देयर कंसोलिडेशन यूनिट इज इन समवेयर अराउंड नोएडा वहां से प्लेन चढ़ के वही वही आ जाएगा सो इट विल बी ब्रांडेड एज कश्मीर एप्पल एंड दे विल सेल इट हियर दैट इज द दैट इज हाउ दैट बिजनेस वर्क्स ओके ओके अच्छा यूएई के साथ भी तो प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी ने बहुत अच्छे रिलेशंस बनाए हैं और अब ये कहा जा रहा है कि जो बायलैटरल ट्रेड है उसका जो वॉल्यूम है वो 72 बिलियन डॉलर्स तक पहुंच गया है और इंडियंस के लिए वीजे की बहुत आसानी कर दी गई है के इंडियंस जो हैं एयरपोर्ट पे आके वीजा ले सकते हैं yes, जबकि पाकिस्तानियों के लिए पाकिस्तानियों के लिए ऐसा लगता है कि वीजा मुश्किल से मुश्किल तर होता जा रहा है और फिर इंडिया की बहुत सारी यूनिवर्सिटियां हैं जिनके यहाँ कैंपस हैं आप आप जहाँ से कर रहे हैं जर्नलिज्म की डिग्री कर रहे हैं वो भी एक इंडियन यूनिवर्सिटी है फिर एम यूनिवर्सिटी भी है बिरला भी है यहाँ पे बिरला इंस्टीट्यूट और अभी जो है सुना है कि आईआईटी की भी ब्रांच खुल रही है यहाँ पर जी यस यस yes. yes. खुल गई है इसको है कैसे देखते हैं आप इस इस रिलेशनशिप को नहीं देखिए यूएस रिलेशनशिप विद इंडिया स्टार्टेड ऑन अ वेरी कॉशियस नोट ये शुरू ऐसा हुआ था कि uh, यमन में वॉर छिड़ गया था UAE prime as usual uh, went to the Pakistani uh, establishment for support uh in yemen uh, at that time it was i guess rahil sharif who was basically the chief so uh, though nawaz wanted to nawaz sharif was a prime minister wanted to go into war uh, he uh, did not get the requisite support from the army because the army did not consider it logistically uh, sound so uh, there the problem started the problems started there and uh, from there you know they opened the door uh, to the indian government and the prime minister for the first time in 2015 he came here and uh, he's, uh, he he uh, dealt with them and uh, you see they saw an opportunity to develop those relations further uh, after the uh, current ruler took over uh, the relations went a notch up now why the relations went a notch up is because india in itself you see is a 1.4 billion country तो एक बहुत बड़ा मार्केट है एंड यू ए एक्चुअली वॉन्ट्स टू मूव बियॉन्ड दी ऑयल वेल्थ सो दे हैव टू लुक एट न्यू मार्केट्स टू इन्वेस्ट सो वी हैव अ रिलेशनशिप व्हिच इज ऑलरेडी देयर बाय इयर्स ऑफ ट्रेड वी हैव टू जस्ट टेक अ नॉच फर्दर सो वी ऑब्वियसली यू नो वी कंज्यूम अ लॉट ऑफ पेट्रोल फ्रॉम यू ए सो अदर देन दैट यू सी व्हाट कैन वी गिव यू ए सो वी हैव टेक्निकल नो हाउ we have uh, we have it we have other sectors where we can invest so we under, uh, actually outlined where we have to invest uh, and where the uae what uae can bring in with combined efforts now uh, for that you know we do not basically uh, ask the uh, it's a uh, no hold bar um, support i mean we do not get into politics we do not uh, discuss about the uae politics or we do not discuss about muslim politics and uh, likewise i mean uae is also not interested in uh, in those politics anymore you know uh, to see what muslim self were in the world uae is not keen on taking the leadership of the muslim world anymore 
and even if they want to they want to do politics in their own terms so you can see that everywhere not only in its policy towards pakistan and its policy towards palestine and its policy towards israel you can you can see that because then and then only can the country develop because you see oil you don't know when it would uh, how long it would last and this is a very rich country the people are kept very well so that has to continue it has to progress so uh, we have taken it another notch uh, so they really uh, do not want to and another thing is that you know relationship with pakistan comes with a lot of uh, riders uh, support for kashmir support for uh, other issues then you have to pour in money to stabilize the economy and uh, you know you have to go in sit with lobbies army ka ek lobby hoga politicians ka ek lobby hoga all the politicians in pakistan they have heavy investments in ua so uh, that is there so the, unfortunately you know uh, people uh, both indians and pakistanis work here pakistanis basically because suffer uh, on the visa and other stuff because they do not have strong governance back home that is very important and strong so, economy also you know, a strong economy comes uh, out of strong uh, governance i mean mm -hmm. the first thing is to correct the governance to have good leaders uh, to have uh, good civil servants good leaders is one thing good civil servants you have to have an army which does not interfere in uh, your uh, civilian uh, life that is also there that pakistan has to develop and then it can reach in par you know anywhere almost all the countries that we have relations with we have done that even see we even share a very good relationship with afghanistan why because uh, rather than investing in uh, in governments we have invested in roads infrastructure universities unke bachche yahan aake padhte hain you see the kind of warmth that afghans feel for india that is something which we developed over the 20 years when ashraf ghani and karzai before him were ruling uh, rather than getting into uh, into you know taliban anti taliban we still deal with uh, with afghanistan it's not that we don't deal with afghanistan uh, Uh, and we we haven't got into that kind of religious politics and stuff uh, like that so uh, that wo hamari foreign policy ki neev hi hai and one thing that happened in the second modi government is that immediately after coming he appointed uh, professionals in two ministries finance and foreign affairs our foreign affairs minister is jay shankar he is not a politician he has never been part of any political party and he's a rajya sabha member and he has done a very good job we have stood up to bigger powers we have stood up to the west when they bullied us when they tried to bully us with ukraine russia and thing we were the only country which were bringing in petrol uh, from russia uh, we were the only country which could uh, which could talk to both us and russia on this issue and bring people on table so the role that india plays uh, in in world politics is uh, i mean it has gone uh, far ahead i mean you know a government in bangladesh if it has to survive you need uh, the indian government's support we have had the same person rule in bangladesh and uh, because because the indian government supports the government there so uh, and at the same time you see we support we uh, we do not ask for anything in return you see china invests in countries uh, it pours in money but it's just like a loan shark uh, you know bailing people out we actually develop relations in spite of all that has happened in sri lanka we still send money over and uh, stabilize the try to stabilize the country when it needed now we are having issue in maldives uh, because you have a pro china government there but uh, i mean uh, tomorrow if maldives require us we will be there i mean uh, that is how we have been that is how the culture of the country has evolved you know we are basically we may be a democracy but we are culturally and soulfully you know it's um, uh, it's uh, uh, in sanskrit we call it uh, sarva sarva dharma sambhavana and, uh, and we always think of loka samasta so keno bhavantu these two uh, this uh, two concepts it's, it comes by default so we do not ask of anything and uh, uh, so that is there i think we uh, you know the next 5 years i mean the same government is going to come in we'll have the same prime minister so uh, we can see uh, greater strides in foreign policy acha bjp ka suna hai ki koi aisa rule bhi hai koi inke manifesto mein hai constitution mein hai ke when you reach the age of 75 you should retire from politics is that a recommendation yes that is there, yes, that is there. Um, the, there is the, the, there is that rule so the prime minister is uh, born in 1952 to abhi unka ho gaya hai 70 uh, 72 ho, uh, honge uh, honge 2024 mein to 72 honge unke paas 3 saal honge but uh, nothing of succession wagera ka to kuch baat hua nahi hai abhi tak 
एंड देर इज नथिंग इन प्लेस फिलहाल तो हम इलेक्शन लड़ रहे हैं uh, उन्हीं के नेतृत्व में सो आई थिंक दे नॉट टॉक टू अबाउट एनी थिंग बट यू सी वॉट दीज पीपल दे कम फ्रॉम दर एस एस तो यू हैव मेनी मोदीज इन साइड दर एस एस आप एक को देख रहे हैं <laughs> लाखों होंगे उनके पास बिकॉज एज द लार्जेस्ट वॉलेंटियर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द कंट्री सो उनके पास हैं सो दे आर नॉट उनको लीडरशिप की कमी तो होंगी नहीं दे वो दे वो हैव लीडरशिप इशूज Uh, so people might come and uh, there are a lot of young leaders i mean uh, immediately behind modi you have the home minister who in most probability will be the next prime minister also because he is from gujarat and gujarat basically is a house of powerful people uh, including industrialists and others uh, you also have yogi adityanath who is coming from the other side who has got more public support than amit shah because he is uh, a no nonsense leader Uh, then you have uh, devendra fadnavis who is basically from maharashtra uh, who uh, handles the most economically pros- prosperous state of the country where bombay is so you have a lot of people bahut sare hain you have one in assam his name is hemanta bishwa sharma he originally came in from the indian national congress uh, he is also doing a good job so there are a lot of people but you see decisions unke policy unke ek uh, philosophy pe based hai congress ki tarah nahi hai it's not uh, depending uh, dependent on people congress ka uh, you know the opposition's main issue is that the people centric i mean uh, see despite getting 50 odd seats they have not changed the leader in the past 10 years i mean wahi banda aake and uh, he um, his uh, campaign is almost like jo unki grandmother karti thi indira gandhi uh, she used to go jopat patti mein ja ke photo wagera leke and then you know interacting with all those people do those people were there for the past 30 years your uh, party ruled for the majority of those 30 years to aap kya kar rahe the so we do not really have an alternative here i mean opposition ka to koi uh, leader hai hi nahi and uh, now they have all come on one platform to fight against one party that is the, uh, the thing just like what happened in pakistan i mean the main party is joined hands to fight imran khan uh, though i wouldn't compare uh, bjp with imran khan but that is the same scenario has always been like that in india so it will always it, it is not going to make any effect and most of those uh, people are very corrupt acha ashfaq ji ye bataiyega ki yogi adityanath ki equation muslim community ke sath kaisi hai pakistan mein is hawale se bahut si baatein ki jati hain lekin maine abhi ek indian uh, uh, german ka he is a german mm-hmm. scientist of indian background unka interview mm-hmm. kiya tha wo 5 6 hafte guzar ke aaye the india to mm-hmm. wo bata rahe the ki Uh, he is very popular among indian uh, women muslim women aur bahut sari jo hain wo jaati hain jab koi masla hota hai unko to wo they approach hmm. him and they get a good response uh see uh, yogi actually comes from gorakhpur he is basically the uh, chief priest of the goraknath math which basically uh, so he is the unko aap kahe gorakhpur ke betaj badshah hai gorakhpur mein ek patta bhi nahi hilta and gorakhpur is basically it has a substantial number of muslims one of the most backward areas in up and uh, it has substantial number of uh, muslims so muslims ko hum up ke andar uh, do tarike ke muslims hai ek forward caste hai jo almost 1 to 2 percentage rehte hain but they control the institutions completely jo bhi ho aligarh ho uh, even the delhi institutions jaise ki jamia ho ya fir deoband ho sare wohi control karte hain ashraf jinko kehte hain and then you are the backward ashraf the, the aristocracy the aristocracy so there are only one or two percentage so the rest are backward muslims usme yogi ka support backward muslims ke uh, you know uh, among them bahut zyada hai because uh, agar aap unke math mein jayenge to unke lagbhag sabhi uh, karmachari jo hain wo musliman milenge aapko bahut sare hain unke goshala dekhte hain unke accounts dekhte hain yogi supports them uh, the madrasa there and all that uh, so yeah he is popular uh women being popular i'm i am not very sure i'm sure uh, i i don't know most of the muslim politicians in the state of up were gundas uh, atiq ahmed uh, was a was a gunda mukhtar ansari was a was a very big gunda azam khan was another gunda uh, in the neighboring state you must have heard of uh, shahabuddin who was who was like modern day gunda his his shown in a picture also yeah in bihar so these are all gundas so earlier what political parties used to do was that you know they have to just pay a muslim goon 
and muslims anyhow they are not developed unke rehne ke tareeke they don't live properly you know tar kaatte hain electricity churaate hain fir chote chote kaam karte hain chori taskari wagaira it's it was basically because the community did not have means to empower itself so uh, basically uh, you see people say that Modi or the BJP is doing to Muslims what the Britishers did to the Hindus. मसलन जो सती हो गया या फिर जो डाउरी हो गया या फिर जो भी है, you know they were outlawed by the Britishers, and it was done. Uh, Indian uh, reformers were involved, but the laws were broken by Britishers, and uh, they were forced to change. Similarly, we have uh, the government have stopped giving special treatment to Muslims, not Muslims per se, but Muslim goons. so the goons are have been almost eliminated atik ahmed is no more mukhtar ansari is in uh, jail but he has also eliminated the hindu goons also he has killed vikas i mean killing is a very high uh, vikas pande got married uh, vikas dubey got uh, murdered uh, then you have a lot of other uh, hindu goons also so he has got a law, a law, a law and order is a very big uh, is, is better in up now now support of muslim women i don't know why he should uh, why he should uh, get muslim sub, uh, women support particularly i know women go to his mat because he has these gatherings of the people in gorakhpur where everyone comes you can see muslim women also there wo youtube mein aapko mil jayenge agar wo dekh ke aap bol rahe ho so i can understand but women muslim women ka support i mean i don't know why because uh, triple talaq uh, outlaw hua tha that was basically because of the central government yogi adityanath is part of the central government as in it's his party but uh, Muslim women uh, sub, may uh, support. I mean, they do support the triple talaq. A lot of them do. A lot of them who basically live in glass houses, they do not. I mean, you know, जिनके अभी जैसे कि मेरी बीवी है, जी तो उनका तो तलाक हुआ नहीं है, तो they she has not faced a harsh reality, so she may not have anything to do. Discussion ही नहीं करती होंगी जो जिन्होंने face किया है. जिनको एक पर्ची पे लिखे गया था या जिनको घर से निकाला गया है उनके तीन तीन बच्चे हैं खाने नहीं है खाने का कोई ये नहीं है सो दो पीपल या दे वुड ऑब्वियसली वैल्यू व्हाई नॉट अच्छा मुझे ये बताया जाता है कि वहाँ पे जो घर बने हैं जो सरकार ने घर दिए हैं तो <laughs> वो औरतों के नाम है ये भी एक वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट की शक्ल है ना हाँ जी हाँ जी हाँ नहीं नो डिस्क्रिमिनेशन देर योगी आदित्यनाथ ने कहीं किसी भी कहीं भी किसी भी तरह का भेदभाव नहीं किया है दैट आई नो मुस्लिम उनके उनके गवर्नमेंट एक और मुहिम चलाती है जहाँ पे यू नो इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ कास्ट क्रीड एंड पॉलिटिक्स किड्स यू नो दे कैन अवेल दे कैन राइट दे कैन अवेल गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट फॉर ट्रेनिंग फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन रेलवे का एग्जामिनेशन हो गया आई uh, का एग्जामिनेशन हो गया वो सरकार चला रही है तो आई सीन लॉर्ड ऑफ मुस्लिम गेट बेनिफिटेड आउट ऑफ दैट बहुत सारे हैं दंगेस्ट आई पी एस ऑफिसर इन इंडिया इज करेंटली हसन शफिन और समथिंग हसन शफिन आई गेस ट्वेंटी टू ईयर्स में उसने आई पी एस आई पी एस क्लियर किया था फ्रॉम गुजरात सो मुस्लिम सर ऑल्सो कमिंग अप ऐसा नहीं है यू नो जब आप यू एन यू पुश टू अल्ड राइट आपको आपका कोई एक्स्ट्रा सपोर्ट आपको नहीं मिलेगा आपको काम ही करके आगे निकलना पड़ेगा काम करने के जो जो दरवाजे हैं वो आपके लिए खोल दिया जाएगा घर बैठे आपको कुछ मिल नहीं रहा है तो द कम्युनिटी विल कम आउट ऑब्वियसली द कम्युनिटी विल कम्युनिटी विल कम आउट एंड बैकवर्ड कास्ट का एक सेपरेट मूवमेंट जो चल रहा है पसमंदा मूवमेंट इंडिया में वो तो दे विल ऑलवेज अलाइन देमसेल्व्स विद द बीजेपी बिकॉज़ दे लुक एट द अशराफ सेस देयर नेचुरल एनिमी जिन्होंने ये रखा हुआ है एक मुसलमान को एक्चुअली इट्स इजियर फॉर हिम टू गेट इनटू बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी रादर देन गेटिंग इनटू अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी अ बैकवर्ड मुस्लिम वो सिचुएशन है जी मैंने एक पसमानदा जो पसमानदा मुस्लिम मूवमेंट है तो उसके एक लीडर का इंटरव्यू किया था उन्होंने यही बात की कि मेरे लिए अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी में जाना मुश्किल है लेकिन उसके मुकाबले में बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी जाना मेरे लिए इतना मुश्किल नहीं होगा अच्छा मैं अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी वॉन्ट्स माइनॉरिटी स्टेटस एंड ऑल्सो सेंट्रल ग्रांट्स अगर आप सेंट्रल ग्रांट लेना चाहते हो तो माइनॉरिटी स्टेटस आपको कहाँ से आएगा आपको जो सरकार की जो नेशनल रिजर्वेशन पॉलिसी है उसको इम्प्लीमेंट करना पड़ेगा यू के नॉट सेट फिफ्टी परसेंटेज बी रिजर्व फॉर योर कम्युनिटी एंड स्टिल यूज टैक्स पेयर्स मनी ऐसा नहीं होता है पहले होता था अभी नहीं होगा तो अभी लेटेस्ट क्या है फिर इज अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी गेटिंग फेडरल ग्रांट्स और नॉट 
they are fighting it in they, they are getting uh, federal grants but they are fighting it out in the court now i guess jahan pe reservation policy unko specific chahiye jahan pe they will not give seats to scsts unka haq unko nahi denge and aap sarkar se paisa uthayenge aisa nahi hoga the government has clearly said uh, that uh, you know if you want central grants this is what you will have to do so filhal to grants to you know under present rules they've been getting it but the government uh, has gone to court regarding this uh, reservation policy of the uh, of the university wo to chalta rahega i mean uh, you have no university can discriminate article 31 32 aapko uh, institutions khada karne ka uh, permission deti hai you know every religion uh, every religious group in the country every uh, even religious minorities can have their own institutions बट ये नहीं कहा गया है कि सरकार उसको सपोर्ट करेगी यू हैव टू डू इट अपने दम पे करना पड़ेगा आप अपना इफ यू वांट टू रन अ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी यू रन इट ऑन योर ओन मनी पड़े हुए वक्त पे इतने सारे लैंड एंड प्रॉपर्टीज यूज करें कांट यूज द टैक्स पेयर्स मनी फॉर दैट अच्छा आखिर में अशफाक साहब ये बताइएगा कि आज ही मैं पढ़ रहा था कि पिछले साल 25 लाख इंडियन दुबई आए तो मैं ये सोच रहा था कि क्या 25 लाख के बजाय पाकिस्तान तो बिल्कुल करीब है इंडिया के क्या 50 लाख इंडियन जो है वो पाकिस्तान नहीं जा सकते एंड वाइस वर्सा तो इसको कैसे आप देखते हैं क्या विजन है आपका क्यों हमारे दोनों मुल्कों में इतनी ज्यादा हॉस्टिलिटी है कि हम दुबई चले जाते हैं लेकिन दिल्ली नहीं जाना चाहते या लाहौर नहीं आना चाहते रावल नहीं जाना चाहते इस्लामाबाद नहीं जाना चाहते या कराची नहीं जाना चाहते सी पॉलिसी डिसीजंस है दो हजार आठ के बाद तो वो ऑलमोस्ट इट इज इट इज ऑलमोस्ट डेड बट ये है कि हम नेबर्स हैं तो बिना बात किए बहुत देर तक तो हम आगे नहीं जा सकते एंड पाकिस्तान इज अ रियलिटी एंड इंडिया इज अनदर रियलिटी आई मीन दोनों मुल्क में लोग ऐसे लोग होंगे कट्टर लोग जो सोचते हो कुछ लोग ये सोचते होंगे कि हम इनको हड़प लेंगे उनको लगता होगा कि हम वो हड़प लेंगे दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन मॉडर्न डे वर्ल्ड वे हैव टू एक्सिस्ट इज टू डिफरेंट कंट्रीज यू सी लॉन्ग एगो दी डेप्यूटी प्राइम मिनिस्टर देन डेप्यूटी प्राइम मिनिस्टर एल के अडवाणी हैड एक्चुअली सजेस्टेड दैट यू नो हम ये एल को इंटरनेशनल बॉर्डर बना दे जो आपके पास है वो आपके पास है वो हमारे पास है वो हमारे पास है वैसे भी तो I mean, it's happening now. Abhi, uh, now the possibility is very, uh, very mute. At that, at that time, if that was, uh, if that opportunity was worked upon, then obviously, कुछ बनता. अब ऐसा हो गया है कि Pakistan claims the Indian side of Kashmir, Indian side will claim uh, the uh, Pakistani side of Kashmir. Kashmir एक नीव बन चुका है हमारे relationship का. And uh, India is of the opinion that Kashmir is our integral part. So let's discuss on everything but Kashmir. पाकिस्तान इज ऑफ द ओपिनियन दैट वी डिस्कस कश्मीर फर्स्ट मेरे हिसाब से वो बार्गेनिंग शिप जो है पाकिस्तान के पास जो है वो वो अब खत्म हो चुका है इट्स नॉट लाइक 10 इयर्स बिफोर सो हां डिस्कशन हो सकता है यू नो बोथ बोथ कंट्रीज कैन बेनिफिट फ्रॉम ईच अदर सी पाकिस्तान इज वेरी लकी टू हैव सम ऑफ द मोस्ट फर्टाइल एरियाज इन द वर्ल्ड सो द कैन बी ट्रेड हियर एंड देयर डिस्पाइट दैट पीपल इन पाकिस्तान आर स्ट्रगलिंग फॉर basic uh, grains and other things the prices are very high so there is no how to be shared there is technology to be shared you know main har hafta oman jata hu by road mm-hmm. i just show my passport and i just get in uh, but you know abhi to i don't know i'm not sure if i can go to kartarpur but that's the max i can go but wahan bhi they would have questions because you know i'm muslim at least by name so uh, चहल वहां से तो होगी नहीं so the intent has to come from the other side and uh, i honestly believe that uh, pakistani brothers should understand that you see this, these india's too big and india can do without pakistan except for the uh, border frenzies economically it can do but pakistan can benefit a lot bangladesh actually has a free trade agreement with india and the, through this free trade agreement most of the textile uh, in bangladesh comes into india 
इट रूइंस आर मार्केट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल से इट रूइंस आर मार्केट क्योंकि वहां पे लेबर और कॉस्ट uh, दोनों कम है बट फिर भी हम वी डू बिजनेस मैं सी uh, का बिजनेस करता हूं मेरा मेरे ट्रक्स जो है बॉम्बे से इट गोस ऑल द वे टू चितागम ट्रक्स ऑन द रोड सेंडिंग फिश मैकरेल हो गया जो जो भी फिश है वो जाता है ये हफ्ते में एक बार जाता है सीजन में ऑल दीज थिंग्स सम ऑल दीज थिंग्स कैन वर्क बांग्लादेश इज नेवर कम टू अस एंड यू नो दे हैव नॉट दे आल्सो हैव इश्यूज ऐसा नहीं है इतने सारे इलीगल माइग्रेंट्स uh, हमारे यहां पड़े हुए हैं आसाम और बाकी सब साइड में दे वी हैव इश्यूज ऑन आवर बॉर्डर जो कैटल uh, का वो स्मगलिंग होता है ऑन द बॉर्डर वी कीप अ साइड एंड वी डू बिजनेस same thing should happen with pakistan uh, but i don't know uh, pakistan thinks that you know it's better without india and now india has also stopped caring we do not discuss it anymore ki kya hona chahiye there is no pehle to cultural exchange kam se kam wo hota tha ab to wo bhi nahi hai yahan pe bhi pathan jaise ghatiya movies banaya jata hai wahan pe bhi i mean wahan to movies banayi nahi jati us scale pe but you see now uh, it has become that uh, that is also this even selling hate i mean it's a very negative trend i'm seeing in the indian kabhi hum veer zara banaya karte the abhi hum pathan jaise movies banate hain and uh, does not make any sense you have stars who are born in pakistan now doing that kind of movies uh, you know they just playing it to the audience anything anti pakistan uh, you know they think will sell bahut sare movies flop bhi hue hain you know has a good storyline yes but on the other way so you know uh, it is way out of our hands now to uh, build that trust back it will take many Gee. years bilkul sahi let's hope better sense will prevail and both these yeah, countries sure, will learn to live to. in peace and harmony aur isi mein jo hai i guess wo... pakistan should engage its intellectuals more hmm. and uh, rather than uh, dealing with uh, you know uh, jaise ki uh, वो क्या बंदा है वो सफेद सफेद पहन के आता है आई डोंट नो नाउ हियर वो छाया हुआ है मुफ्ती है वो आई एम नॉट श्योर व्हाट व्हाट हिज नेम वाज व्हाट एवर ही ही इज वो तारिक जमील जैसा ही एक बंदा है एंड यू नो ही रन को मूव्स अराउंड विद सिक्योरिटी वगैरह जितना हमारा हमारे आर्मी थीफ्स को नहीं मिलता उतनी सिक्योरिटी गाड़ी वगैरह यू नो जस्ट कीप द रिलीजन असाइड एंड आप जैद हामिद की बात तो नहीं कर रहे नहीं 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 जैद हामिद की बात नहीं कर रहा हूं मैं एक प्रॉपर रिलीजियस लीडर है वो आजकल बड़े छाए हुए हैं उनके शॉर्ट्स वगैरह आते हैं तो आई एम नॉट श्योर व्हाट हिज नेम इज बिकॉज मैं इन रिलीजियस लीडर्स को फॉलो नहीं करता बट ही इज क्वाइट पॉपुलर ही कम्स ऑन टीवी वेरी रेगुलरली रिसेंटली ही हैड कम उसने सजेस्ट किया था कि जाकिर नायक को पाकिस्तान आना चाहिए था मलेशिया नहीं जाना चाहिए था बिकॉज पाकिस्तान में रिलीजियस लीडर्स की बहुत इज्जत होती है वगैरह वगैरह सो Sir, you have to engage with the intellectuals. Hafiz Saeed ki baat. Hafiz Saeed ki baat kar rahe hain. Ab kiski kar rahe hain? Nee nee, Hafiz Saeed nee. Banda Punjabi to nahi hai. I mean, he is. Ye safed safed pehenta hai, dadi hai. I'm not sure what his uh, name is. Okay. Masood okay. wagera kuch hai? Acha. I'm not sure, but he's very popular. Ab samjh uh-huh. I'm, 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 naam mera mujhe yaad nahi aa raha. Hali mein wo ek uh, podcaster ke saath aaya tha. Nadir naam hai na podcaster ka. उसमें उसमें मैंने कभी भी आपको वहाँ सी एस एस की जो तैयारी उस लेवल पे नहीं देखा है जैसे की आई ए एस की होती है यहाँ पे आई मीन मेरे दोस्त है यहाँ पे फरीहा सी एस एस छोड़ के यहाँ काम कर रही है so i was asking her uh, why css chhod ke tum yahan you know you working in a bank and all that she said uh, i couldn't afford my father's eye or surgery that is what she said i mean uh-huh. as a css officer i better be here make money and take care of my dad so uh, you know you need those strong people uh, in bureaucracy you need strong people in politics and uh, pakistan will progress otherwise there is no hope challenge up thank you very much Thank you thank you sir thank you